What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to MMS World. We're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We're starting the news this week with Final Fantasy XIV and its latest expansion, Shadowbringers. The Shadowbringers expansion has gone into early access today, and if you pre-ordered the expansion, you can start entering the game and playing, going to the first and becoming the Warrior of Light. Now, Shadowbringers is going to be a really big update, of course. The level cap has been increased to level 80. There's two new jobs in the Gunbreaker and the Dancer. There's two new races to play as, the Hrothgar and Fiera as well. In addition to a ton of other features, for example, changes to the game's crafting system, the new NPC trust system, job actions, new main story and story dungeons and trials, and a whole lot more. The Shadowbringers expansion officially launches on July the 2nd. Up next, World of Warcraft also had a massive update earlier in the week on Tuesday, 25th of June for Patch 8.2 Rise of Ashara. The war campaign continues for both the Alliance and Horde factions. And you can head on to the two new zones, Makagon and Nas Chatar, to begin questing and checking out all the brand new features. For example, Pathfinder Part 2 has been unleashed and that means you can now fly in all the BFA zones, including the two new ones. There's new benthic gear to get, new mount equipment, and massive changes to the Heart of Azeroth with Azerite Essence System that should give players more custom customization about their builds and their gear moving forward. Elsewhere, Gamigo's free-to-play Korean MMORPG Arc Age has a new update called Relics of Hiram, and it is now live in-game. For centuries, the path leading to the eastern Hiram Mountains have been covered in snow, and now players can go back and check it out. There's an increased ancestral level cap, Radiant Hiram Guardian equipment, and a fantastic set of new achievements for diligent pet collectors in this update. For Star Trek Online players on the console, the Rise of Discovery update is now available for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This is, of course, based on the CBS television series Star Trek Discovery. Rise of Discovery invites players to join the ranks of the USS Buren, commanded by Starfleet Captain Gabriel Lorca and Commander Alan Landry. STO captains will play through two incredibly moving featured episodes to uncover what happened to these characters before they beamed aboard the USS Discovery in the show's first season. Additionally, there's new reputation to get and console captains can explore a near tier 6 reputation called Discovery Legends which allows players to earn exciting new Discovery themed rewards. Foncom has also released a free major update for Conan Exiles, its survival MMO, which includes a brand new dungeon, a host of new items, area revamps, and balancing tweaks. The update is now available on the PC, with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One coming very soon. The dungeon is called the Warmaker Sanctuary, and the update as a whole features new loot and improvements, temperature system updates, agility and survival attributes have been buffed, increased stack sizes for some resource, and a whole lot more, so head on over to ConanExiles.com and check out all the new changes. And finally this week, Black Desert Online has allowed adventurers to jump into the game and play the Shy class for the first time this week. The Shy is the latest class to come to BDO and it's a hybrid class that the game has not seen before as it has lesser skills compared to all the other classes in game and deals with support, buffing and healing instead of outright damage or something else. As usual, there's a leveling event to accompany the release of the new Shy class to so expect to be picking up rewards every now and then all the way to the soft level cap. And that wraps up our MMO news recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at mmsworld.com. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more MMO news. As ever, I made it from MMS World, signing out.